Isnan na po si Kapitan kay wala ka ron tonight. Where is Kapitan? Ano ba si Kapitan o wala? Asa si Kapitan? Where is the right hand Kapitan? Nasa gawas, nangihi pa si Kapitan kay nakabalungan siya na ako ang magpailakula. I'm a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration major in Marketing at St. Michael's College. To be a Bachelor of Science in Criminology at the Legal Medical Center College. To be a Bachelor of Science in Education major in English at the Legal Capital College. To be a Bachelor of Science in, Ar in Architecture at the Museum of the Legal Foundation. To be a Bachelor of Science in Accountancy at IIT. But I took up all the all the perspectives offered that the school offered to me, but I failed to, to pass the entrance exams. But I am proud of and saying to you in front of you that I passed and graduated at Kiwanan Elementary School in Kindergarten as a five hours.
much, much, much later.
Thomas, and to my drum team, Glenn and Sondo, Jaya and Bobby, for always being there for me since day one. Thank you. Thank you. Please speak your question and let me know. If you will be given a chance to talk to the president, what is something you'd like him to know about you and why? Well, definitely, if I'm given a chance to talk to President, well, definitely I will say thank you. Thank you for what he has done from the different sectors that we have in the Philippines. We have social services, economic, infrastructure, and all sectors. Plus, I will tell the President my advocacy. Actually, I'm currently working at the local government in the Philippines at the City Information Office. And I have realized the importance of information on people's lives, just like a virus. Fake news can spread rapidly, leading to harmful consequences. That's why I will tell the President that I am advocating for countering disinformation and fake news. It's not about the President, he himself will solve the problem. But it is about time that they us put together by working together and valuing the shared responsibility in verifying information. Ikaw, ako, kitang tanan, parte sa solusyon. Tinag sa naman. Hi, evening candidate number seven. Okay, but... If you could discover anything in this world, what would it be and why?
So please stick your question. If winning wasn't important in this lifetime, would you still want to win this crown? Why or why not? Good evening everyone. I have been a short answer for you tonight. But for me, crown is not in demand. But the thing is, crown is more than just an achievement. It is a vision of hope, an inspiration, and a tool of future. Thank you. Seventy-five years later.
unbearable hours later. And the final questions. The recent Olympic fiasco on a certain Algerian boxing athlete has escalated conversations throwing pay towards transgender women. People threw in their comments and stated that transgenders are not supposed to participate in sports with such unfair advantage. Days later, it was proven that Imani Kelly is a woman and is not a transgender. What was has transpired? With what was has, with what has transpired? Hate and words were already thrown towards the transgender community. Now, as a queen, what will be your efforts in order to fix the negative narratives thrown to the trans community? Thank you for that very relevant and interesting question. But definitely, I, as, uh, as I said earlier during the preliminary, I am an advocate of countering this information and fake news. Because of, because of fake news, that is that is the reason why the trans why the women as being as being known as a trans woman. Always remember, ladies and gentlemen, we, we have to define what is women and what is trans women. Plus. As a media user, as a social media user, we have to cross-check at the same time cross-matching of what we have read through online. In my view, the chance to be crowned tonight as your first ever queen, Battle of the Queen, I will use my advocacy and I will, I will partner different outlet or media partners in order to fake news or disinformation will eradicate. Let us always remember that information is very important to each and every one. And plus, the respect within ourselves. We should respect in ourselves, we should respect the athlete who are performing in that same event. With true respect, we can be able to achieve love. If there is love, acceptance and peace will follow. For I believe that peace stands for political stability, a for economic growth, A for assimilation of minority, C for camaraderie of all races, and lastly E for equality. Just now, stop hating. Take a salama. I believe that in every competition, whether it is Olympic, we should always follow the rules and the regulations of the organization. And as for me, in order for me to uh, to educate people, for those people uh, who for those people who are judging the trans woman community, well, I would like to be an advocate for change, and I would like to have an initiative, and that is to educate people of what is trans woman community. And I believe, and I believe that. In every competition, uh, a trans woman community should also should also join the particular the particular Olympics because we also have the right because we are humans and by that I would also uh, talk to the government to I would talk to the government to uh, create platforms and push legislation for the members of the LGBTQ community.
the bitterness of ignorance. Tatang salamat. Okay, good evening. Each of judge, let's say it's all about respect. Okay? Because if we don't ask, we don't have funny, enjoy, or what else, what confident, what our life. Because always remember, we should always free. As what I said, remember in the preliminary, always what you are. Because the LGBT community is always free. And without LGBT, we don't have a colorful community. Good evening. Thank you so much for that question. This is not new to us. We even experienced worse rather than those that are circling around internet and social media and transgender. I would like to call on my trans sisters and brothers to be the bigger person here. We cannot fight fire with fire. Let us stick with our goal which is to be accepted rather than tolerated. As your future queen, what I will do to mitigate this kind of issue to ever happen again is that I will push for my advocacy which is trans disability. My advocacy aims to educate people about the true nature and existence of trans people. Everything that's going on right now is just purely hate. It's just purely ignorance about the word gay, bisexual, homosexual, and other members of the LGBTQ plus community. And what do we do to heal and stop ignorance? Through education. Right. What hurts me is that there are some people who uses the Bible just to prove a point. But, sad to say, I would like to tell you, ladies and gentlemen who are using the Bible, just to prove a point that you are taught and told bigotry and dehumanizing slander. Because the God that I know doesn't want me to do that. He, o he only wants me to spread love and compassion to one another. Because by that, we can have a world where everyone is safe from discrimination, safe from bullying, and safe from ill treatments. We can create a world through my, through my uh, advocacy, a world that transcends the conventional notion of what a world is, embracing the true essence of home where love fosters and grows. Thank you. few moments later. This year's Manaman Festival Battle of Queens 2024 fourth runner-up is candidate number seven.
Mali. 